Hey, Jason. Hey, Jay. Um, we saw Leon Drysaddle run into Skinner and left practice. Do you, do you have an update uh, on him? Um, you know what? I walked off with him. He appeared fine to me. Um, I haven't gotten any reports or anything like that, but it's just one of those things that happens in practice, I think, sometimes. You've had a day now after the game. It's a pretty competitive game last night, and obviously you didn't get the result you wanted, but lots of positives in that game. What do you show for your team to build off of that? Because, I don't know, can you build off of losses sometimes just as well as you can a win? Yeah. I, you know what, I think uh, you're right. There's a lot of positive in, in that game last night. I think there's areas we can be better in. And um, when there's areas that you can be better, you, you want to talk about it, you want to highlight it. Um, you want to highlight a lot of the things you did well as well. Um, but in the end, we saw um, a, a good hockey game last night between two good teams. Um, but we're not in the business of moral victories. We're in the business of uh, collecting points. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for us last night. We'll take the good out of that game. We'll learn from some of the learning moments, and we're going to get ready here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Ken moved Jesse Pugliarvi today. Uh, Jay, just your thoughts on what you saw from him, and um, you know, do you think that there's a player in there that can maybe, you know, if he finds his stride, maybe contribute in a different way than he has recently for you guys? Um, yeah, well, first I would thank Jesse for being a member of our organization for so many years. I got to see him at different um, stages in his career. I coached him in Bakersfield uh, when he came down to Bakersfield my first year. Um, and then uh, obviously when I came up last year with Dave, I uh, got to see him as a more mature player. Um, you know, for me, uh, he's someone who came to the rink, uh, was first and foremost a great teammate. Um, people enjoyed being in his presence. Uh, he worked hard. Um, you know, this morning uh, after uh, he spoke with Ken and the management group, he, he walked into our coach's office and made sure to thank him for his efforts, for, for, for playing the way he did and playing hard. Um, what do I think of him as a player? I think he's um, an NHL hockey player. I think uh, it's my understanding that the team went to him and talked about um, you know, possible extensions or whatnot, but it was determined, you know, maybe a fresh start or fresh scenery somewhere else is in, in his interest. And, um, you know, I wish him well. I think he's a really nice young man. Uh, he's an NHL hockey player. And, um, you know, I'm thankful I got to know him. The difference in his game when he's maybe feeling confidence versus not feeling so confident, is he still, like many younger players, susceptible to the ebbs and flows of the confidence game and maybe have some trouble getting on top of that at times? Yeah, uh, you know what? But I think, you know, I, I felt good with him on the ice. I didn't hold my breath and worry about what was going to happen or anything like that. I think, um, you know, with... You know, maybe everyone with where he was drafted um, expected a certain level of offensive production. I never went there. Um, you know, I don't think you just measure your game in solely in offensive production. Like I said, he's an NHL hockey player. Um, you know, he's going to a good organization. Sometimes fresh starts or fresh scenery is best uh, for the player. We're seeing that in, with Clem Costin, um, also a first-round pick who uh, we were able to get out of uh, St. Louis and you know for whatever reason it didn't work in his first opportunity in St. Louis now fresh start fresh eyes sometimes um, you know you're buoyed by that opportunity Clem's taken advantage of it and you know I'm, I know Jesse's gonna do uh, do very well because he's a, he's an NHL hockey player he's going to a good team and a good coach and as I said we wish him well Good, thanks, Hayes. That was easy today. Yeah.